You know there are times in life when you're tempted to go back. Tempted to not just look, but to grasp. Tempted to touch the beautiful glistening display. The pure blackness of it. The shimmery midnights, the circles, the lenses, the ports, the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Let's discuss. All right, I got you guys thinking. Well, thanks for joining me on this video. This is Thunder E from Board at Work. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification icon to watch more videos like this. So why am I tempted with the S21 Ultra? It's a couple of reasons. First off, I will say this is a gorgeous phone. That is just one of the best things about it. The color, this black, phantom black is magnificent. And it's great when you're just walking around with a device like this. It's just stunning. It looks really, really good. And I think a lot of people will like that with the device. It's comfortable to use. It's great in so many aspects and facets, right? Uh, whether I am using it on a day-to-day -day basis, the battery life is great. It's probably the best that Samsung has put out for it, right? Uh, if I'm gaming uh, for a long period of time, I can enjoy battery life with it. If I'm using it on my day-to-day -day task, recording video, all that fun stuff, it's great. Now you're saying to yourself, you just stated a bunch of things that you really like, and yet you're still tempted. So tell us why. Well, I'm getting to that point. I'll start off with the very first one. It's the S Pen. Now, the S21 Ultra can use an S Pen, and Samsung released an S Pen, and I was absolutely ecstatic about it because I use an S Pen on a daily basis. For me, it's signing contracts, it's taking down notes, it's just something that is part of my daily life, and it has been for over seven years. So with the addition of S Pen on the Galaxy S line, I'm like, this is great, and I like the S Pen, it works well. I'm using the speaking case with it, and it's nice to use, except it's a little wide, and the S Pen is not, you know, docked into the phone, it's on the side. You have to slide it into a little pouch. And that's cool, and it lasts, it was cool for a while, and then I, it just got a little, a little bit too cumbersome for me. So I started using a regular case, and I couldn't use the S Pen, I had to go look for it. Again, for me, that's a problem, for me personally. And I think, for Galaxy Note users who are looking at the S21 Ultra, you find that to be something that mm, you wish was docked internal. Now, another thing, of course, is the camera. But this is a good point. The camera is, is damn fantastic. It is a lovely camera. Samsung has done a really good job with the camera. When you're taking photos with it, I mean, you look, it looks absolutely gorgeous. And I looked absolutely fantastic in the photos here, I must say. I know, I sound like I'm talking about myself, but my outfit was pretty spot on. And this is from our sponsor in the video, but we'll talk about them in a second. The photos look crisp, they're clear, whether you're using the ultra wide, you're just looking at portrait photos, uh, whether you're taking different angle shots, and even video. Now in the capable hands of Daniel Sin, who has just he does steady and awesome work. Video looked great, 4K 60, really crisp. If I was recording myself, it would look absolutely garbage, even with all the tech that Samsung is throwing in it. But it looks really good. And those are the things I like from the camera, showcasing me in the best light or showcasing what I want to showcase in the best light. And speaking of showcasing, our sponsor, Thread, helped me look really good in this video with the outfit I'm wearing. This I got all from Thread, and why I like them is because they use a lot of AI algorithms to help you shop. And for us guys, shopping is something for clothes we don't like to do. We wanna be as simple as possible. So you start off with an online quiz that basically determines your size, uh, as well as also your budget price and what you're looking for, your style. And once it, it gets that, it basically culminates and gives you uh, different selections on a weekly basis that fit exactly what you're looking for. You can go ahead and select with that, or you can also just pick the design options they've given you for that week. Now what's cool about it, it, it finds different brands, uh, different colors, different styles, everything you need to pick out the clothes you want 
and the process is pretty simple and easy. Once you do that, you select the clothes you want and boom, they arrive and you start looking great. And I definitely like them. Now, if you want to go ahead and try out Thread, definitely use the link in the description below and the first 20 people to sign up will get a $20 gift card to use to their shopping experience. Besides looking good, the S21 Ultra is a device that also has some deficiencies when it comes to handmade video. And I'm not recording, I'm not talking about the recording aspect, I'm talking about editing. Now, you guys know I do a lot of stuff on TikTok and, and Reels and now YouTube Shorts. I'm trying to create content that's quick and easy to put out there. And yes, I can record some great content on the S21 Ultra, but the editing process becomes difficult because there is no proper native editing app. Now I can download third, third party apps from the store, that's true, or things like Adobe Rush. But honestly, if I'll be true to myself and honest to you guys, iMovie is just so much easier. Honestly is. So I do a lot of my TikToks and my Reels, all the editing off my iPhone because I can quickly do that and put it up when I need to. And as much as I like the quality on the S21 Ultra, it saddens me that I can't, that I have to either transfer, upload, it just becomes long and cumbersome. So still have the iPhone for that. And that's one of the things that the iPhone does for me really well. So when I look at it as a whole, with all the S21 Ultra brings to the table, the gaming prowess, uh, the camera, the battery life, um, there's so many things it does well. Even the speakers, I mean, audio is really good. But for me, it doesn't hit one of the key points for my day to day. One of that is the S Pen just being housed in it because I don't want to lose it. And the other half is the fact that I edit a lot of videos on my smartphone now, and that's what the iPhone does. Yes, I'm lucky that I can rock two devices at the same time, but not everyone is. Now, if you're gonna ask me, Thunder E, are you saying I shouldn't get the S20 Ultra? Nope, that is not what I'm saying. I'm saying, for me, I am waiting for the Galaxy Note. And with the news now that we might not get a Note this year, I don't know. So it might be the Galaxy Fold for me if it comes to an investment. But right now, the Note 20 Ultra is what I rock. The S21 Ultra, so tempting. And the iPhone, just like the side chick. So anyway, if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.